Welcome to the Big E Outdoor Radio Show with your hosts, Big E and Brandon of Big E TV. Found nationally on your favorite outdoor television channels. Big E Outdoor Radio challenges all the hot topics in the outdoors from racing to hunting and even grilling in the backyard. Our mission is to educate on the facts of the impact of the outdoors on all our lives and encourage good stewardship and good fellowship among our ranks. Follow Big E Outdoors on Facebook at Big E Outdoors and Big E Outdoor Radio. Send us feedback and get in on conversations with us. Fasten your seatbelts, because this ain't your daddy's morning show. We'll be right back with Big E and Brandon in the morning on Big E Outdoor Radio. We're back with some more Big E Outdoor Radio here. We got Big E and little baby E in here. And, and I don't know where in the heck in the world old quick E Brandon is this morning. He's out there someplace uh, floating around. And hopefully he's hopefully he's not floating around, but you know what I mean. You said he was doing the shack party thing. The, the shack party. He was supposed to call, and he hasn't called, but then. So I was talking about the... Hey, did you hear little E? What did he say? He's probably sleeping out there. Yeah, he probably is. You're right. He probably is sleeping. Your uncle. Your uncle. We were talking about the cool products that I ran into when I was out there at the uh, AT... Or excuse me, the SHOT Show. You were doing what at the ATF? <laughs> yeah. ATA is the archery <laughs> one, yeah. And... Um, you know, like I said, you know, you go by and you see there, there's so many people that have something similar or something the same. And it's to me, it's like, well, hey, you know what? If, it's, if I've already been there, done that, or I know that a lot of people out there have, uh, it's not even worth my time to stop and interview them. So, I mean, if I wanted to go from booth to booth to booth to interview, man, I could do two, you know, two shows, three shows at a time while I was out there. But for me, I walk and I and you know look at all the stuff that they have and then i think about it and then i'm like okay i'm gonna go back and interview that guy so another cool thing that i had found when i was out there was this this cleaning stuff and it was called uh metalloid mm. and gun care products and they got a really cool logo it looks like it's a it's a big old boar hog tearing through the through, through the logo and stuff and they got uh, they got these little kits that they sell, and it's all all the different kinds of cleaners. I mean, there's one in there for um, uh, the gun cleaning. Oh, and most of them are, are are green products, so they're good for the environment. They're safe around your animals, pets, things like that. Except for, of course, the 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 gun cleaner that that has some agents in it for cleaning your bore and things like that. You know. But otherwise, they've got a green gun oil, <coughs> and they say that this... Was this the one that mm-hmm. was, they said almost everything ha- does not have petroleum distillates right. in it? Yep, they use other things. They use other, like, uh, citrus agents and things like that. Their green gun oil, um, they they took some people's guns that actually were really rusted, surface rust, where these guys had left, you know, taken them out hunting, hunted with them, and then put them away and they had some dampness on them and they could take this green gun oil and they'd soak it on there rub it on and then just wait a little bit and then wipe it off and all that rust came off i mean just with the oil not even with the cleaner and then they've got a stock oil um and then there's a, a leather oil for you know like your slings and butt plates and things like that and then they got one that's called this duck hunter's delight which is you spray it on you can totally Spray it on your weapon and everything. It's like an oil, but it's it's like taking Rain-X to the max because you can drop your gun in the water or whatever and pull it out, and it's dry. The water's gone. It completely beads it right off. It's like, it's, it's, it's pretty cool. Whoa. So 
they've got a full system for treating weapons, and the stuff's only five bucks a bottle. What? Yeah, it's only five bucks a bottle. So you got one, two, three, four. There's five in this. There's six uh, products in this little kit that you can get for 30 bucks. And I'm trying to remember what the other one is. It's some kind of cleaner as well, but you can use it on everything. It's like a like a gunk cleaner and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, they've they've got they've got these little packages in there. They're so it's 30 bucks. Oh, that's a hand cleaner. That's right. I couldn't remember what that what that six bottle was. It's a special hand cleaner. It's green again. It'll get down into your pores and everything and clean your hands. Now, here's where that hand cleaner really came in handy out there, and this is why they caught my eye. Because at the SHOT Show, all these people are going out to the range. There's big ranges out there. They want to shoot these big 50 cals, and they want to shoot all these, these guns and everything. Okay. That ends up putting residue on your hands. Right. If you go through the scanner at the airport... And, and anything beeps, the next thing they do is they wipe down your hands to see if you have any explosive residue, gunpowder residue, anything like that. And if you have any residue on your hands from gunpowder, you've got some explaining to do. <laughs> yeah, instead of going to the air, as they call it, instead of going to the gate area. Yes, uh, sir, can we please speak to you in this little, in this this little office room over here? The, and, yeah. and you can hear the gloves snap when they say it. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, come on in here. So, you know, that, that cleaner is, is nice because a lot of people were using that to wipe their hands off before they went to the airport after they'd seen this stuff. And this is all all made by a company here in the United States, uh, which is cool. You know, I, I I tend to be a little bit more drawn to made in America products and things like that. Um, I haven't I know, noticed that. Yeah, Definitely. So, yeah, this is, um, I believe these guys are out of our Arkansas, which is why they ended up with this hog thing, or this big razorback hog is their ah. symbol. But they're calling the stuff metalloid gun care products. They're saying it's bore tough. And, you know, it seems like some really great stuff. I can't wait to, I've got some, some shotguns and things that have got some rust on them and that. I'm going to use it and see how it works and lube them up. And it won't take the finish off. It won't take the finish, and it won't take, if you've dipped it, if you've had it uh, custom dipping done to it, or it's not going to take any of that off. In fact, you can preserve it by treating it with this stuff. Oh, wow. Yeah. So I was pretty impressed by that product. Um, if you were paying attention and, and wondering uh, what else was cool that I had run into, I ran into another product called Arms Reach. No, I did not hear about that one. This is a little safe thing. I'm going to show you a picture of it. I got to put these on our website too, by the way. See, it's a little safe thing for pistols. And oh, is that is that um, is that okay? That's the one for the is bed. that the car version or is that the home version? This is the home version for the side of the bed. Okay, I did hear you talk. Like I said, some of the stuff I have to record other stuff, and then I can't listen to the radio. I can't listen to you know, couldn't listen to your show, but. Yeah. Okay. Now you I know, know exactly. I because I heard you. I heard the part of that because they used to ask of uh, um, specifically if they were going if that could be used in a car, and the guy said they're working on one. They're working on a uh, a model specifically for now. How does that thing? Is that just? I mean, is it mounted to the, your bed, or is that something that goes hang well, goes between the mattress and the box spring? That was the part that I missed on that thing. All right, I'll try to explain it so that in radio land we can hear it. Okay, the 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 box itself looks similar to oh, like a. It looks like it looks like a a tall narrow briefcase. Right, that would be a good way to you know, yep. think of, think of a briefcase. Turn it on its end, <laughs> but it it would open on the narrow side it, instead yeah, of the wide on, way. It opens on the end, then yeah, and they've got a it bolts to. Uh, a plate that kind of has it has some contour to it so it's not like just a straight plate. right it has like a little bump in it so that when your mattress sits on it it kind of lays on it too and then that goes in between the mattress and the box spring and then there's a cable that comes off of that and goes around to the other side of the bed underneath underneath your covers but it'll it'll chain oh so like the you cables go down so you can't pull you, this off 
So now we just go under, go under the underneath, all the way underneath the bed, and then come back under the mattress. Yeah. So it, so, so basically, ain't nobody gonna steal this thing without taking the whole bed with them. And so you know it slides in there now, and it holds it right up tight to the bed. When you make the bed, you're not gonna see it. It's gonna be underneath the cover. If you, you know, make the bed, the comforter. Yeah, if you're one of them, I I can't stand getting into a bed that's not made. So my mind's made all the time. In case anybody's listening out there, ladies, I do make the bed. But anyway, um, and not to get off track or anything, but you notice, like, here's a picture of it. And when I'm taking pictures, look at that good looking blonde in the back that I got. I didn't even notice I had her on there, but it's like, and you start looking at the residuals. I'm looking at the pictures. I'm like, hey, yeah. <laughs> You just never know what you're going to catch in the background. Yeah. So, anyway, they had a video of this running. It This thing opens with, you can open it with several ways. It opens with a key. It'll open with a code. Or it opens with your thumbprint, which is the way it's supposed to be worked. But those other two are your, like your backups in case of thumbprint. Or your, or your index finger. And so what happens is you take your index finger print, you hold it on there. It scans it. It knows, okay, you're the you're a guy that's able to open the box. Now, it'll let you put 10 people in there like that. I, it was going to be my next question. Yep. Then, it it showed how easy it is. Guy guy was actually laying in the bed like he would have been laying there sleeping. It was a demo, of course. A fake intruder comes in, you know, for it, for the demo purposes. All he does is slides his hand down the side of his bed with his finger on that thing. Boom. And it, and it instantly pops open. And right next to his hand, there's his pistol. So, I mean, if you're laying in your house, this would be great for, like, women that live alone and, you know, need to have some home security. Rather than having a pistol that's laying, that you got shoved underneath the bed or under your pillow, you know, I can't tell you how many times I've, you know, gone out with women and bang, you bang your head on something hard and you realize she's got a pistol under the pillow. No, I'm just kidding. But, but, um. Brandon. Yeah, Brandon, we need you. <laughs> so, uh, <coughs> um, the. Yeah, or you don't oh. have. Are we up against a break? Uh, almost, yeah. yeah. We don't have to. Uh, you don't have to put it in a nightstand either. You put your pistol in a nightstand, and heck, you know, like or right here, I got my five-year-old grandson with me. He runs around the house. Right. He's familiar with the fact that Papa hunts and that I've got guns around, and so the last thing you want is a kid to grab the pistol out to look at it, just being curious. It might not even be being naughty, but now you have to. Keep your pistol unloaded. Keep your bullets separate. Keep everything because you know you got kids around. Well, then what happens when somebody breaks in? Now you got to try to get all this stuff together to be able to defend yourself. So this way you can keep the pistol there next to the bed. Keep the magazine in it. You don't have to put one in the chamber, which I strongly recommend not doing anyway right off the bat. But nobody can get in it. Now, the next safety feature is if you do have kids around, it'll let you store a tattletale list or a do not enter list. So you have them kids come over and you have them. Oh yeah. It. That was, yeah. I, I heard. Yeah. And if they try, the, it's it, the thing you, I remember you asked basically, does it give you, um, time and date? They just said it will give you pretty much a date. It's not right. like, it's not like it's not time stamped. Right. But nonetheless, but it, it still tells you that somebody they, was trying to get in and they shouldn't have been. So then you know that, oh, little E was trying to get in there to my pistol case. So now I need to have a talk with him and say, you don't play or with the for, guns when we're not around. Or the, or that, you know. Someone unauthorized, the maid. Or the babysitter. Cleaner, babysitter, whatever. Somebody was dinking around trying to get in that pistol box. Now, even if you don't have them stored as a tattletale list, it'll still tell you that an unauthorized right. person tried to get in. So now you'll know, well, you know, all my kids are, are on this thing. So somebody else tried to get in. I'm guessing it was probably my house cleaner or it was, you know, a guest that you had at the house. That girl, you couldn't remember her name, whoever. And you woke up and you found out that he was standing up at the at the bathroom. So then it was his name was Caitlin. <laughs> oh, no. uh, you know. And on but, that note. Yeah. Let's take a quick break. We'll come back and talk about some more recap on the uh, the shot show from Vegas 2016. Grilling season never ends at Dickie's Barbecue Pit in Wausau. 
Meats are seasoned in slow smoked and hickory wood burning pits on site daily. Buy it as a meal or buy it by the pound. Takeouts available. Drive through, dine in, or even get Dickies to cater your next big event. Dickies Barbecue Pit, located at 2111 Stewart Avenue, across from Furniture and Appliance Mart. Mmm, you can smell the hickory smoke goodness already. Hey, it's deer season, and some of us don't have the best hunting shack. But if you go see our friend Denny at the Shed Shop in Anawan Shano, you can find the perfect little cabin, shed, or even a deer blind. Denny at the Shed Shop has the best little buildings in the Northwoods, all made with the quality of the Mennonites. So check out the Shed Shop today. Give Denny a call at 715-584-3054. The Shed Shop. Do you want to get the most exposure for your business for each dollar spent? Of course you do. We can help. Whether it's simple lettering, company decals, or a complex vehicle wrap. Auto Trim and Sign is a 3M certified company that can design, manufacture, and install graphics perfect for your business. You can be assured your car, truck, trailer, big rig, or your company's entire fleet will be in good hands. Check out our website at autotrimofwasa.com for examples of our work. Or give us a call today, 715-842-9114. Whether you had a run-in with a deer or something a little bigger, BRB Auto Body can make your car look like it just rolled off the assembly line. BRB Auto Body specializes in complete body and paint repair, fiberglass repair, and custom painting. At BRB Auto Body, you'll receive a complimentary loaner car while yours is being repaired. Plus, you can have pictures of your vehicle's progress emailed to you on a daily basis. BRB Auto Body also offers 24-hour towing and roadside assistance at 359-9792. The next time you need auto body repair, choose BRB Auto Body, located just one half mile past the Cedar Creek Mall on Highway Double X in Rothschild, and online at brbautobodyinc.com. Expect a quality job from BRB Auto Body. And we're back with some more Biggie Outdoor Radio. Oh, yeah. It was a little bit of a longer break there, but uh, I was just checking up on my uh, messages here and trying to figure out where in the world Brandon is out there. So uh, before the break there, we were talking about that uh, that arms reach thing, and we pretty much wrapped that up. But uh, it's a very nice product to be able to keep your, your home protection sidearm locked up so nobody can get at it but yet handy enough that you can get it out when you need it in a, in a jam so um the i'm just trying to look and see they've got two models one's a metal one's made out of metal or some kind of steel and the other one is made out of a poly but a real tough poly and and uh um I think it's a, a product that a lot of people should look at, and I think the website is in this picture, so I'm going to pull it up. It's uh, no, it's not. Okay, it's armsreach.com. Oh, I was looking at the one before. Go ahead. What were you going to say? No, I was thinking about the really long web ad, uh, website for the uh, gun cleaning projects. They had a big website, the gun cleaning product. Or not uh, a big. It was a long name. Yeah, it was like uh, metal air. air uh, yeah, right here it is on this next picture. Metalloid something or another. I mean, it's they they didn't they didn't get it very easy to uh, do. Metalloid Firearms Products dot com. Metalloid Firearms Products dot com. Yeah. I mean, I'd have come up with MFP dot com or I mean, I don't know. I just I'd have thought of something. There's probably MFPs probably taken, but. You know, um, yeah, that's a big one. That's a big so. Big website. Any other? What else uh, caught your eye out there that was not some of the the girls on the corners, the dancing girls? No, not that. No. Uh, okay. There was another product made by somebody. I don't have the picture of that one, but out of Wisconsin. Um, one of the things that 
we try to do is take a lot of youth hunt, hunting and we take some disabled hunting. And I've struggled for the, a few years with, uh, with some products that, that are good, but they're somewhat limited. That's, my, that's what I'm, I'm trying to get at. Um, there's one out there called the iScope and the iSpotter. Okay, and this is made, it's Jeff Foxworthy endorses this thing. It's really, it's great product. Wait, it, does that mean it's a joke? No, no, no. This is uh, Jeff Boxworthy. He's a big hunter, so yeah, he he, he endorses this one. Yeah, come, come, come on. He's also a comedian. Yeah, I know, I know. But this thing's serious. <laughs> and so, so is this, Ted. So, so this has a tube that slides over the scope, and then you can mount your cell phone. But you got to order. The oh, is this was this the cam was this the, the cell camera. phone camera yeah. thing? Yeah. But now that that wasn't called the ice. I'm just explaining what else has been out there over the years. Oh, okay. <coughs> so <clears throat> the eye spotter and the eye scope, they work well. But in today's world, how many times do we change our cell phones? People are breaking screens, getting new phones, upgrading. The mount for that thing is like a hundred bucks, and so you're constantly changing it, and it won't Aye. work because of the way the way it sets up and lines the camera up with the scope. It has to be a case made or a holder made for the phone you have. And so you can't just buy a generic one, use it on the eye scope or the eye spotter, and it, it becomes kind of a cumbersome deal. Right. Yeah, I'll agree. <clears throat> and the reason for wanting to use your cell phone uh, with, the, with a spotter, with a scope, is because let's say you have a kid that with a, with a crossbow with a scope or whatever, that eye relief when they're trying to get their eye lined up just perfect with a scope and, and find the animal in it and everything, it makes it tough. But if you can take your cell phone and take that screen and put that basically on the end of your uh, scope now and just look at the cell phone and that's going to have your crosshairs and everything. It's seeing what you normally would see. You don't have to worry about where your eye relief is. You don't really have to even worry about exactly how far back your cheek is laid now and whatever. The kid can hold the rifle with you there supervising him. You can see what he's seeing. You know where the crosshairs are. He can see a whole lot better, and it makes it easier for them to shoot and learn. Yeah, but but it makes it a lot harder than to uh, get that charcoal ring around your eye. Yeah, it's one way to remember. Yeah. Uh, I mean, how am I supposed to get a hold of your cell phone and, and put the charcoal on it so when you hold it up to your face, you get a square <laughs> or a rectangle on it? Well, hopefully you don't put it right to your eye anymore. <laughs> but but anyway, the uh, the other uh, advantage to it is, like I said, working with disabled folks or with handicap or with people that are new, you can help them. You can be over their shoulder and help them guide them, you know, and help make sure that, you know, what they're shooting, make sure they're stable, make sure all that kind of stuff. Plus, you're using the camera feature on your phone. So at any time, all you got to do is touch your your screen button or your, your snap button or whatever it is, depending on what phone you have, and you can take a picture of what you're looking at through the scope. Or push the video button, and it'll record while you're hunting. And you got it right there on your phone now. So that's the reason to use a cell phone. Now, the eye spotter and the eye scope was a great invention, and it was, it was a good deal. But as any invention, there can always be something better. So we were going along, and all of a sudden, we, I see this booth called Ram Products. And I'm thinking, oh, Ram Products must be for the trucks. So I walk by it. Probably walked by it a half a dozen times. I come by on the other end. Why I walked by it a half a dozen times, it was right by the food court. That's why. Ah. Uh -huh. See, you, food court? Hmm. Yeah. I was always hanging out there getting something to eat. So I came back by it again on the end, and it was near near the end of the show, and, and uh, they were sharing the booth with a guy, and this guy from Wisconsin called Attach It. And as I went by, here's his cell phone looking through a spotting scope, and he had another one sitting there. It was mounted to a, like a mock rifle stock, you know, with a scope on it and everything. And I caught my eye. I stopped. I backed up. I'm like, that's what this is. I said, this is pretty cool. What is it? So he shows me. Now, they've got it where it, it does the same thing where it looks, but you don't have a tube that slides over your scope or anything. you got something that kind of mounts on there and stays there, and all it does is it brings back a little magnetic square. 
And that little magnetic square just sits there next to the scope. You can use the scope a regular way. You and I could be shooting out of it. All of a sudden, oh, now we want to take Junior here and we want to let him shoot. You take your cell phone, you turn around, you slap it up. You don't even have to line it up because it it pulls itself right into alignment. And there's it, it, it comes with a... You still have to order the, the case for your phone, but it's a lot cheaper. It's like 25 bucks. And Oh, okay. So, so that, now, that's what the magnet's for. Got yep, and now, like the back of and it, and it's actually a case that's very similar to the OtterBox. It's really heavy duty. So you would you could carry your phone in it all the time. And then on the back, there's a little square metal piece. And you just drop it up to the phone up there. You don't have to sit there and line it up. Nothing. It automatically will put your, your camera lined up immediately with with the uh, scope and it's on. So you and I could be out there hunting, doing our shooting, doing whatever, regular rifle. All of a sudden, hey, Junior wants to shoot. Turn your cell phone on, slap it up there. Boom, he's ready to go. Or you decide, or you decide that you, I'm talking about you, not to you. Or you decide that you want to uh, photograph or video what you're going to shoot or hunt. You can instantly, just that that quick. Uh, Yeah, but the thing with, if, especially with photo or video, that that can be used you against you in court. <laughs> Depends on what you're shooting. <laughs> oh, but like, <clears throat> no, the other thing is, is that he works with the people from Ram Products or whatever they were, Ram Mounts, Ram Mounts it was called. These guys make, you know all that stuff you can buy for your truck to hold your cell phones and your GPS and all this garbage yes. sits in your dash? Okay, these guys make good stuff. It's now, all, it all are you has, talking the stuff? Are you talking the ones that go like on the dash, the stuff, the yeah. suction cup stuff? Or yeah, it can go on the dash. It can go windshield. against windshields all over. Now, these guys make them that have like knuckle uh, joint type things so you can turn it any direction. They're yep. very heavy duty. It's not going to fall off, be driving down the road and it bounces off. Next thing you know, it's on the floor with your cell phone in it, whatever. And so he works with them. So now you can take your phone, turn around and go to your truck and you'll have one of these things sitting in your truck with a little magnet piece and you just slap your phone on there to hold your phone in the dash of your truck while you're driving down the road. Same thing that you were using for your gun. And if you wanted to use it as a dash cam, because there's nothing like, you know, right now, think about how a lot of our, our phone mounts are in our vehicles and how they hold the back of the phone. Right. This one only has a little stem that comes up with a magnet. So, bam, you slap it in there. Your phone is looking, you can use your phone as a dash cam. Because the camera is above. It's not blocked. Yeah. Oh. Yep. And the list goes on and on. They have endless line of lists of, of things that you can get there for mounts from those two products. Huh. How are we doing on time? That time. It is. Let's take a quick break. We'll come back and I'll talk about another quick, great product that we've seen there. It's the ultimate tailgate event. Your chance to score. Big savings at Stark GM of Merrill. Last month, Stark finished 22nd in GM certified sales in the entire United States of America. So if you're looking for a GM certified pre-owned, Stark is the place. Find 30 certified pre-owned cruises starting at $9,995 or $149 a month. Choose from 14 GM certified Chevy Impalas starting at $12,988 or $196 a month. Or lease a new 2015 Chevy Cruze. Just $69 a month. And Stark is your truck headquarters. And that's why you can save up to $11,000 on select 2015 crew cabs. Hurry! This ultimate tailgate event ends soon at Stark GM of Merrill at Highway 51 in Q. Or visit us at StarkMerrill.com. Plus tax at license fees. Cruise selling price $99.95. $149 a month. Zero down. 72 months. 3.49%. Impala selling price $12,988. $196 a month. Zero down. 3.84% APR. 75 months. With approved credit. 24 month lease. 10,000 miles a year. 44.50 in rebates included. Must currently lease a non GM vehicle. While supplies last. See dealer for details. Based on August GM certified pre owned sales in the country. Looking for the perfect gift for your hunter? How about some hydrographic dipping? Check out Adrenaline Hydro down at the Cedar Creek Mall. They're located in the Biggie Outdoor Museum and Pro Shop. You'll find the hydrographic solution to all your needs. Let Adrenaline Hydro put a custom look on your gun stock, deer skulls, bar glasses, 
car and truck rims, or even put a graphic design on the entire interior of your car or truck. Come see us for a deer season special. Bring us your deer head, uncleaned, and we'll beetle clean it and dip it with your choice of over a thousand different patterns for only $125 for the whole package. Get on down to Cedar Creek Mall and grab a gift certificate for this now before the special ends. That's Adrenaline Hydro down at the Cedar Creek Mall, located in the Biggie Outdoor Museum and Pro Shop. Every single day, people just like you are leading happier, healthier lives by working out at Snap Fitness. With two locations, one in Weston and one in Wausau across from Fleet Farm, the hardest part of getting into shape is just walking into gym for the first time. So don't wait any longer. Head on down to the best deal in town and the best atmosphere you'll find for getting into shape. Trained professionals at Snap Fitness make them the perfect choice over any other fitness center in the area. Snap offers fitness classes, professional trainers, and the best equipment around. Get your own personal key to a private gym. Work out anytime you want, 24-7, in a members-only environment. No need to lock into the long-term contracts of other gyms. And tell them you want the Biggie Outdoor Special to get the best deal around on your membership. Snap Fitness in Wausau and Weston. And we're back. Welcome back to Biggie Outdoor Radio. Haven't heard anybody on that phone line yet. No Brandon. Nobody nobody is awake yet. I'm having a feeling that uh, there might be... Well, let's hope he didn't drop his truck in the ice. There. You think he might have, you think he might have fallen through the ice with his truck? Yeah. Does that worry you a little bit? Huh? Does it worry you a little bit? Are you more worried about Uncle or his truck? His truck, good. Sit up here. Because um, it's pretty, like... Sit up here and talk in here. Why, you want his truck? Yes, when I get bigger, I want to kind of drive it around. Yeah. And then, um... So it's okay if Uncle falls through the ice, just not his truck, right? Yes. <laughs> Hmm. I love how you can lead a kid right where you want to go with it, you know. Well, I was just gonna say he's been hanging around you too much. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Uncle wants to take you out ice fishing. What yeah. do you think of that? Mm-hmm. Hey, does your dad fish? No. He's about the right. He's about the right size for uh, for Jake fishing. Stur- yeah. Oh, I was gonna say for sturgeon bait. <laughs> ah. Or or hey. some of those channel cats. Yeah. Gators. <laughs> Gators. Broadcasting. Gators are pretty good. Yeah. Um, yeah. Ex- um, um, pardon me. Um, I, I thought uh, this was the, <laughs> the shed party. Sh- yeah. The shack party. Yeah. The shack party. I think Uncle's on the phone. Listen to that. Now what? Oh, Jesus. Yeah. yeah. You've been in recovery for years. <laughs> oh, yeah. So uh, how about, does your dad hunt, apparently? I can't hear so. anything. You can't hear anything? I'll turn you up a little bit. I said, does your daddy hunt? Hang on. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Turn it up really loud. Turn it up really loud? Does your dad hunt as much as Papa does? Uh, no. No? Huh. Hmm. Guess guess who's on the phone now? Guess who's on? Listen in your ears. Are you there, Uncle? Hey, how's it going, guys? Good. Hey, Pop! Hey, <laughs> Hey, uh, you, you think that I dropped my truck through the ice, huh? Yeah, I know it. I knew you would. I knew you were coming, and I knew. You, are you done going swooping on the ice? No, we're gonna go back out there today. But right now we're we're gonna we're making a plan for breakfast. What oh. the? Hey, hey. Br- Brandon, did you catch the fact that he was more? It's okay if you go through the ice, but not your truck. Yeah, I noticed that. I noticed that. Yeah. I really feel bad. Um, you're, you're really going to have to talk to your uh, sister about how much time Little E is spending with uh, Big E. 
Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> He's starting to train him early. Yeah. Yes, I am. I'm getting hey, least, start training early. At least he hasn't sworn on the radio yet, so. No. Yep. No, he hasn't gone through one through seven yet. No. No. Hi. Well, that's good. I have not. That's good. No. You know, I've got uh, I've got the mighty fisherman here from the uh, Goldsmith Guide Service sitting here with me. Yeah. Really? Is that what it is? <laughs> so, have you guys caught anything? We had a we had a few flags yesterday. <laughs> have but, you guys? Uh, what did you catch today? <laughs> well, today? Yeah. <clears throat> A, well, ha- we- a headache. <laughs> you caught, caught a, a you caught, caught a head. A headache, buddy. <laughs> you, you just caught a head right there. You just caught a head right there. So yeah. do you um did you get any any fish or did you just get flags and nothing? Well, we caught we caught a few flags, that was about it. You hmm. see <laughs> Garrett and Garrett and, uh, and Wyatt, they got a couple of them they pulled through the ice. Oh, and, and then there was then there was me and Zach. Oh. Uh. Yeah. So what what kind of uh, fish were you catching? Are you catching walleyes or are you, what are you catching? Walleyes are pretty well, we, cool. We were fishing for walleyes last night, but Nothing. most of the fish that we caught were silver and blue. Oh, they're they're uh, bush, My favorite bush light cans. Bottle bass. Bottle. There you go. Bottle, Bottle bass. bass. Are you still there, Brandon? Yeah, yeah, we're here. My oh. hey, just so you know, my phone might die. Oh, really? So you you were you sound about as prepared you, as your father? Yeah, you you couldn't even charge your phone for this event, or what? Here. <laughs> well, I didn't necessarily stay in a hotel last night. Actually, uh, stay in a hotel tonight. <laughs> we stayed at somebody's house, and I think when they went out of town, they left. They took all of their phone chargers with them. And oh, are you sure that they uh? Are you sure they didn't, you know, have the electricity shut off, too? Well, they don't even know we're here. <laughs> oh, you just found out you just found a house that was empty, and that's where you decided to stay for the night? Oh, that's good. Somebody well, yeah, that. after after we got cold and tired of not catching any fish, we just stumbled up to the closest house that had the lights off. Yeah, and see if the door yeah, worked. It worked out pretty good for us. Yeah. Is that Papa's? Is, Papa has a brand new house. It's white. No one's in it right now. <laughs> Except yeah, you're going to learn a lot from this little guy here. Except yeah. for Papa. Oh. That's the only one that yeah. can go in there. Because it's, that's his office and his house and my yeah. rules and his rules. Yeah. I'm thinking that he's he's going to make a better radio host than you and I. He might. Heck no. Yeah. He might. Oh. What's no, the, he won't. What's what uh, what kind of topics you guys all covering this morning? I only started listening about a minute before I called you guys. Well, we've been kind of recapping some of the products from the from the shot show. Oh, okay. You know, and and talking about their use usefulness to us as hunters and outdoorsmen and things like that. And the next the next one I was going to get into, Brandon, was going to be sportier. Sportier. Oh, okay. Yeah, you definitely need that. You Explain. Mean? <laughs> Go ahead, explain. Explain. Yeah. Why do I need the sport here? Huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Yeah. I explained it. Yeah. yeah. And you've got the picture in front of you, don't you? What is it? I don't Well, the sport ear sport ear actually they make more than one product. Um, but it's for guys like myself and Brandon, eventually, hopefully he's smart enough to use more hearing protection than I did. But, you know, a lot of us, especially if you come from the military and you've been around a lot of shooting, you start losing part of your hearing. Yeah. And in that zone, it's in the high pitches, the high frequencies. So it's usually about like, uh, well, in the frequency of a woman's voice. Yeah. How convenient is that? Huh? Yeah, and it's, <laughs> it's, it's very convenient. the sounds are like the ths, the c's, uh, s's. Those those sounds you you lose. Well, you start taking it was like a half a dozen more. You start taking those sounds out of your. Those are your most common. Right. So when someone's talking to you, if they're not looking right at you, you you really have a hard time hearing them. And. 
most guys don't really look at their wives when they're talking anyway. So even if she is looking at you, you know, you're not picking up everything that she's saying or whatever. But it's typically found that you're sitting with your TV on 50 or 60 when everybody else in the house is like, turn that thing down. My God, it's yeah. terrible, you know. Yeah. So this, uh, you can go get hearing aids. But the problem is, is if you have that kind of hearing loss, which is the majority of hunters and outdoorsmen, that's the kind of hearing loss that they have. So if you get a regular hearing aid, you're going to hear like you're in a tin can mm-hmm. because you only need it for one part of the, the hearing spectrum. So they did a hearing test on me again, and the hearing, it just goes along, and I'm like, it's got great hearing. Everything is great all the way up until I hit them pitches, and it drops off the charts. And in my right ear, it's gone. It don't even... I mean, I don't even rate down at the bottom where it's low. It's really bad. I rate where it was unreadable. Yikes. <laughs> Good Lord. <laughs> and and they were like, are you are you left-handed? And I said, no. And they said, because usually what happened is guys will put that ear that they're, you know, if they're right-handed, your right ear would be touching the stock, so you wouldn't have as much hearing loss. But it comes from laying next to other people on the ranges and working with them and things like that. So, And also, I said, because when I drive down the road, usually I'm driving. And whoever I'm with, my wife or whatever, would be riding in the passenger seat. And so you constantly have that yakking in your right ear. That's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, man. Yeah, so, but, but anyway, the, the, my right ear is pretty much gone. So that you got to have a, a special uh, hearing aid with, a, with a, um, a hole drilled in it so it doesn't echo. Huh. And... They have them so that they're waterproof and everything. So if you jump in the river or whatever. So they, they specifically make hearing aids for hunters with this that kind of hearing loss and with and that will stand up to our kind of use. So in other words, if I'm driving along or running along in the woods and all of a sudden whatever I'm hunting jumps in the river, I can jump in the river after it. I don't have to worry about, oh, Christ, I just ruined a $2,500 pair of hearing aids. <laughs> I'd and, like to see you jump in the river after anything. You know what? You're going to end up in a river if you keep it up. Yep, yep, well. But, but, um, the... So you're saying Brandon should get a pair of these hearing aids right away. Yeah. If he, because he's most likely going to need, within about... Well, he just got married, so his hearing is definitely going to be on the way out. That's what I'm saying, that, you know, to, so he doesn't notice any drop-off in, uh, yeah. function or anything? Well, if, if he's if he's you know riding around in the vehicle and he's got his wife and his mother in law and everybody in there, you know, it's gonna you know all that, all them uh, them yeti yells and things like that, you know, that kind of stuff will eventually affect I just, his hearing. I, I just want to throw this out there that you're the one saying this, not me. You know, that way I don't get myself in trouble for. I am just pointing it out. It's a fact of life, son. You just got married. Your hearing is definitely going. We're gonna take a quick break. Hang on, Brandon. We'll be right back. My brother Paul was a real renaissance man, a big city ER doctor, an outdoorsman, and always the smartest person in the room. When he was killed in a deer vehicle collision, I thought it was a freak accident, but I was wrong. Each year, deer vehicle crashes cause death, damage, and injuries. About one in every hundred drivers is likely to have a collision with a deer. For tips to avoid hitting a deer and the best rates in town, visit Champion Insurance in Weston. Troy Champion, your personal Erie insurance agent. A message from Troy Champion Insurance and Erie Insurance Agencies. Blazing Gifts at 1701 North 6th Street in Wausau is your downtown destination for novelty and specialty gifts. Stop in and check out Blazing Gifts for t-shirts, knives, and other specialty items, including incense, candles, and more. Blazing Gifts handles items not found in everyday stores, even custom decals made to order. Check out Blazing Gifts at 1701 North 6th Street, downtown Wausau. Biggie Outdoors, located at Cedar Creek, is reopening its doors soon after its new remodeling. Home to the area's first and only big game hunting museum, with educational exhibits displaying animals from around the world and facts around the hunters' contributions to their survival. Pick up some unique souvenirs and gifts from the museum and from the Biggie TV shows. Meet the pro staff from Biggie TV and Biggie Outdoor Radio. 
a great place to stop in with the whole family. And while you're there, book your next hunting trip with the Big E Outdoors Professional Hunters. With over 21 personal hunting destinations worldwide, you'll be sure to find a quality getaway with the Big E Outdoors destinations. Big E Outdoors is also home to Adrenaline High Geographic. Check us out online at BigEOutfitters.com and register to win a free hunt. Big E Outdoors at Cedar Creek. So this guy came into the store recently and he said it's my 30th anniversary and I want to get something fine for my wife. I haven't bought her jewelry in a long time and it's time. Well, of course, we agreed and we helped him find a diamond bracelet that we were quite sure would blow her socks off. Well, a few days later, he came back into Jim Creeshocks and we asked him, so did she like her bracelet? He looked at us and he smiled and then he said, well, she liked it so much that she... And then he stopped smiling. She liked it so much that she... What, we said. Well, she liked it so much that she... And then he stopped again. And then we got it. So she's very happy, I said. And he nodded. And you're very happy, I said. And he nodded again. And I said, now that is what we're talking about. We're Jim Creeshock Jewelers on Rib Mountain Drive. And nobody renders guys speechless quite like we do. Welcome back. Are you there? Can you hear me? I can't hear myself. So, oh yeah, there I am. Yep. Hey, you there, Brandon? Yep, yep. I'm still here. Still here. Phone hasn't died yet. Oh well, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Yep. So. That's because oh, you're talking uh, on it, not your not your wife. Yeah. What's that? It's because you don't have to listen to your wife. Yeah. Well, I I still have a hard time hearing though. I mean that's yeah. <laughs> but. You know, the, the good thing about being down here, uh, come down here and do some fishing and and uh, catch up with the guys. I haven't seen them in a while. Yeah. But uh, I get to get to check in and see how that table is doing. Uh, you remember that table that I had there for the wedding? Uh, me and me oh, and yeah. Megan. Yeah, yeah. Everybody signed yeah, it. Get to get to check in on that. Uh, things actually, uh, it's actually looking pretty nice. And there's some really nice log furniture there. That uh, that Garrett has been working on, and he just got a new Facebook page up and going. So if oh, you so wanna... I see you're going to try to plug your buddy here. Yeah, well, I, I am actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, if you want to if you want to check out his check out his Facebook page and see some of the nice log furniture he's got, it's custom fine pine design. Could he con- could he come up with a longer and more complicated name? Well, hey, I mean, you know Garrett, you know him. Well, yeah, I know. I'm surprised he can his... spell all that custom. <laughs> <laughs> fine. Custom fine pine design. Pine. Design. It's got a ring to it if you can remember it. Design with an S or just design? Design. Custom fine pine design. Is that all? all Custom is it fine, one? fine pine. That's what he said. Fine. Is it, is it yeah. all one word or is it all separate words? It's all separate words. Custom <laughs> fine pine <laughs> design. design. Custom oh, you fine. You must be pine. searching it here while you're. I am. I am. I'm looking for it. <laughs> My God, he even spelt it all right. That's pretty nice. I'm. I'm thinking it. It says Garrett invited you to like this. Okay, I'm going to like the page there now. I'm liking it and I'm following it. <laughs> it oh. said invite friends to like this page. Okay, I don't have any friends, but. Um, Custom invite fine. everybody. Look at that. Yeah. So, Look at that. Actually, we're we're going and his, to be. And his, uh, and his, it, this is custom, listen to this, Tim. Custom fine pine designs, and their and their slogan is, "We've got wood." <laughs> <laughs> and they do, and they do. It's yeah. And I was actually looking at it yesterday in the garage, and it's you were what? I might add, it's it's really nice wood. <laughs> I bet you were. <laughs> Yeah, it's just some well, of the best-looking wood you've ever seen. Welcome to the cabin. It's oh, this is a pretty nice-looking products he's got on here. So, but oh. actually, we're going to start we're going to start displaying some of this stuff at the uh, the Biggie Museum. Nope. So we will have that, it. we're going to take it to our trade shows and things like that. But um, there's going to be some changes coming up there with that Biggie Museum. So. Oh. Oh. Okay. 
Yeah, there's there's things you don't even know about, but that's because you're busy fishing. I never make any of the meetings. I always have an excuse. Yeah. Yeah. Very, <laughs> very nice, uh, very nice furniture. Look at that stuff. I mean, he's got uh, bar tops, shelving, stools, wooden toilet seats. No, not really. But you could do that. You just would have to be careful you didn't slide around on it much. He said, you know, he's actually sitting here next to me, and he said it's custom. He can do anything. So There we go. Custom wood toilet seat. Now, that would be awesome. Yeah, this is uh, this is some pretty good stuff. He's got end tables and things like that. Who would ever thought he was that talented when I met him back when you guys were going to high school together? <laughs> well... You know, we've come a long way. Some of us have, anyways. I mean, yeah. I don't know about me so much. Got a swing set here he made. That's pretty nice. No, that was his swing set. What's that? That was his swing set. Yeah, he just he liked it so much when he was a kid. He took a picture of it and put it on there. No, there's a wooden front porch swing here. <laughs> Ding I know, I know. Yeah, he actually uh, he's made a few of those now. Those things he can't even he can't even keep those things. Yeah, those are very long, and they and he ends up selling them the swings. I would imagine. I would imagine. Yeah, that's uh, that's a. And like I said, he does he does this stuff custom, so he can make any kind of swing you want, if you know what I mean. Oh, you could make one of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, That's interesting. You could chain it right to the ceiling above your bed. I'm trying to figure out what this one picture is. The first one that's up there must be some stuff that's not finished yet. The picture's kind of sideways, and I can't turn it on my camera. It'd be the first one that comes up on his page. When you look down there, I don't know what that is. I I can't I can't do more than one thing at once with my phone because oh. as soon as I open up another app, it's gonna it's gonna it's die. It's gonna die fact, for sure. I may not even make it through the rest of this segment, and I don't have a charger here with me. So, oh. well, if if people are looking for some cool custom wood furniture, they can go to Custom Fine Pine Design. Uh, yep. Yeah. And uh, it's all individual words, custom, fine, pine design. Hey, well, I'll put a link. We'll, we'll and it's, it is, it's very affordable, too. Uh, what you're going to find that you pay for any kind of log furniture anywhere else, you're definitely, <laughs> you're going to be, you're going to be paying a little bit less uh, by going, going through this, uh, going through this company. So, Yeah. Because so he, you get cause he's, what does he do, cut these trees at night price, when yeah. nobody's paying attention or what? Well, yeah, his neighbor's starting to wonder why he doesn't have any trees left. Oh, I would imagine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, there, look, I even shared it to our Big E page for him. Awesome, awesome. There we go. Custom Fine Pine Designs. Their slogan is, we've got wood. There we go. It's not really, but we just gave him that. <laughs> well, they got a slogan now. That's the, there you that's go. the important uh, part. Now you can get hats made. Yeah, we've got wood. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right. So back out on the lake today, how long are you going to be fishing down there? You know you got appointments up this way today. What's that? I'm sorry. How long are you planning on fishing today? Um, For, uh, for a little while. I don't know. Uh, what did you say? I have appointments up there today? Yeah, I got a place for you to look at. Remember at one, one or one thirty? Oh, uh, nothing. I'll just take your wife. She makes all the decisions in your family now. Anyway, now that you're married. Yeah, you're right. She does, but yeah. um, she's actually making the decision to go fishing with me. Oh, she's coming down there to go fishing with you. Yeah, why don't you why don't you bring my nephew and come on down and see us today? I want to. I want to see Uncle Benjamin. You want to go swimming? Yes. <laughs> well. <laughs> yes. We're gonna do the polar plunge. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Stop. <laughs> you might end up doing the polar plunge uh, if you're out in that water. It's it's very warm out there. I don't know if you noticed. It, that. It, actually, it ain't that bad. There was a there was a solid four or five inches of ice underneath my truck where I was parked yesterday. So I think we were pretty good. <laughs> four I or five. You said there was almost a foot. Five. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was it was uh, about eleven to thirteen inches. Oh. Okay. Jeez, four to five inches. I'm like, oh my gosh. Oh <laughs> yeah. Hey, can you explain to me uh, one more time the 
uh, we were talking about vehicles falling through the ice. Why don't you tell us how that process works for getting that out and what it costs? Well, actually, uh, <laughs> it, it costs it costs you about twenty five hundred dollars, and but uh, you do get you do get a free hat and a free lunch out of it because we were just talking about it yesterday. Where do you so, get the lunch from? <laughs> well, they they bought him lunch because he went in right by uh, right by one of the restaurants there on oh. Lake Puckaway. So what you want to do is always yeah. drop your truck in close to a restaurant. They'll feel sorry yeah. for you and get you lunch. That's yep, okay. His picture his picture's still on the wall there. I imagine. That's yep. an expensive dinner. That's an expensive hat. <laughs> <laughs> that too. But you're you're yeah. saying it only costs twenty five. I would have thought it'd been more than that. Twenty five hundred bucks to get his truck out of there. Well, it depends. Uh, it depends. Sometimes it costs people more because they drop it through in deeper water. Mm-hmm. I would. And uh, Garrett got Garrett got lucky. He dropped his through in some in a uh, probably four or five foot of water. So, and he had a eleven inch lift on the truck, so it it came out a little bit easier too because they got it out within six hours of dropping it through the ice. Uh huh. So, so it didn't freeze but, in. It didn't freeze in. He didn't. They start finding you after 24 hours. Oh, so the DNR fine kicks in after 24 hours. But it's probably yeah, so he, it's probably retroactive though. But yeah, what you ought to do? in the water. If you can't get your truck out, then what you need to do is swim down there and take the plates off it. <laughs> yeah, I guess <laughs> that's one way to do it. That's one way to do it. Yeah, but that VIN number is registered oh, to that. Darn it. Yeah. We're done. And there's yeah. multiple spots that that's uh, on the vehicle, so. Yeah. No hiding that. Nope. I nope. just saw Facebook. Hey, my, my phone is chirping at me here. I, I'm, sure. I'm just going to die in the next 15 seconds. I and think, that's about what we have. Yeah, I think we're okay. breaking. Yeah, we're breaking here now anyway, so. All right. Well, if I find a charger, I'll call you guys back. All right. See if you can do that. And uh, and fish safe today. We'll talk to you later. All right. Bye-bye. Bye.